What's going on everybody? This is TGA and today we're in Portishead, Head in Somerset North Somerset coming down to a place we've literally recently just found which is uh, Immigration Enforcement Conference House Home Office site so, uh, so if you're watching this Marty Black bro I know you like these sort of sites as you can see guys Home office, conference house, and they've got two of the immigration enforcement vehicles here. Look, home office. As you can see, let's have a look inside the van. You can see it's like a typical police van. No lights on it though. Yeah, we'll try and look into the back there. So you can sort of see immigration enforcement. So the uh, these guys have powers over immigration. So anyone who's like an illegal immigrant, they can detain. They can arrest them um, when it's related to uh, immigration matters. Put the body worn on because there's people coming out. Can I help you too? No, can I help you at all? No, I was just wondering why you're filming this office, this building. Is it's that really? The camera's up there. So I just wondered why. I don't really need to justify that though, do I? No, I was just asking you why. Well, that's fine. Could you identify yourself? I don't need to do that to you. I'll just have a look at your number then. 6564. You why, you, why are you filming our building? Because I want to. All right, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. So we're gonna have a walk down here. Six five six four. So we're gonna have a look around here. So this is like a um, well, reception here, reception desk, front counter in this building. So, put the body worn's on. So I had that all on body worn record. So this is their uh, front counter. Let's see what it says. Immigration enforcement. COVID-19, following public health England, blah, blah, blah. This story is to be used only by staff, contractors, and anyone making a delivery. Public callers with an appointment, please use the next door to your right. Okay, so what we're gonna do guys, gonna get the drone up over this, over this site. Home office, immigration enforcement. So just the home point right. has been updated, please check it on the map. The home point has been updated, please check it on the map. Take off. There we go guys, we're up in the air. building, immigration enforcement, home office, see there's the, uh, there's the van down there look, immigration enforcement, get a photo, bring him back down, let's just take him over there, Side guys, bring it back over. Bring him down. As you can see, there's the vans. Look. The immigration vans there. Bring him 
bring it down. Immigration enforcement. I'm going to zoom out, guys. This is the building. Home office. Immigration enforcement. Just going to land it now, guys. Land the drone before they start coming out. Just bring it back a bit, bring it up. So, there we go guys. We're gonna land it guys. That is correct. We're gonna land the drone. Let's get a quick shot of the vans. Landing. So, and yet they're protected by Chubb. <laughs> he's still there, look. Oh, he's gone up there now. There he is. I need a copy of that. I need a copy of that. GDPR. I can request a copy of that. I need your number. There we are, she's coming down now. I hope that's your work phone. I hope that's your work phone. Subject to GDPR, you know. I hope that's your work phone. I hope that's your work phone, because you're subject to GDPR, because you're, you're working currently. <clears throat> you're working currently, so you're subject to GDPR regulations. So I need your number, please, so I can, so I can request a copy of that. Bunch of clowns, eh? Bunch of clowns, eh? Come back from uh, Home Office Immigration Enforcement staff. Still watching me there. Jokers, man. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna pick this back up in a minute, guys. Gonna wait and see what happens. See you guys in a sec. So let's just make sure this is still recording. It is. Hello. Hi. How can I help? I'm speaking immigration. All right. <laughs> no worries. I imagine you've been called down for me. Oh. Ah. Oh, there we go. No worries. Good morning. Should we come in and have a chat in the first yeah. instance? No, 
those guys, man. Can I get her number just because she took a photo of me and asked GDPR, please? Now, of course, they go in there. You can see that's inside the, uh, the police car. Neighbourhood, neighbourhood watch. Avon and Somerset .police uk. Some of their cars have actually got the, um, the crest on the, the emblem on the side saying Avon and Somerset Constabulary. This one doesn't. Doesn't have any markings on the roof either. It's just a neighbourhood. It's just the neighbourhood team from Portishead, from the HQ. Well, whilst it's got a bunch of divisions in uh, HQ, it's also got the uh, neighbourhood division for Portishead. Then you've got the response team out of um, out of Wet North uh, North Somerset Police Centre in Will. So we're going to hang about, see what the police are saying. So I wonder what they're twisting. What lies they're telling now? Because they were looking at me, and then they were on the phone, and then the police turned up. I mean, it's not, it's no coincidence. They haven't just, they haven't just happened to be here. Or well, they haven't just happened to call them about not me. So uh, we're going to pause this recording, guys, and we will be back with you very soon. What's that on display there? Oh, it's just breakdown maintenance number. That's all it is. Can we actually see properly inside this van? No, I don't know why the body one's not working though. Because it keeps stopping all the time. I hope that's actually recorded. We're all watching me, look. Immigration and Customs Enforcement in the US. So this is basically the, for all of you Americans watching, if you've seen on First Amendment audits, you've seen the ICE police. This is technically ICE. Immigration Enforcement, Britain's equivalent to ICE. So Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. So their powers, the majority that I was right, arrest officers are warranted and derive the majority of their powers from the Immigration Act 1971, although some powers are acquired from the Immigration and Asylum Act 1999 and the UK Borders Act 2007. Uh, in the vast majority of cases, immigration officers will use administrative powers under Schedule 2 of the Immigration Act 1971. Said powers include the execution of warrants and the power of arrest, as well as powers to search arrested persons and search premises for evidence relating to a person's immigration status, passport, visa, plane tickets, etc. These powers are used to start a process of removing a person administratively. Uh, this is often confused with deportation which is a different process entirely. So the guy who came out, I think he's just a normal immigration. Oh, chief immigration officer. Okay, so that guy who came out, the guy who was questioning us, he's a, a chief immigration officer. So you can see there's the ranks there. I don't know if you can see that. So you've got the um, assistant immigration officer, immigration officer, chief immigration officer, uh, Her Majesty's inspector, We've got assistant director, deputy director, regional director, operations director, and then you've got a director general. Oh, there's another police van turning up. Blimey. Got another police vehicle. Avon and Somerset turning up. Something going on, whether it's me or not. Good afternoon, oh, morning. Still. Morning, yeah. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. How are you, yeah, officer? Thank you, thank you. Excellent. You're not flying a drone at the minute, are you? I was flying That's a drone. That's fine, as long as you're not flying now, so yeah, I can have just, a chat with you. Just saw you're a police drone operator. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering whether you've been caught out for me. Yeah. Hello. Hey. How's it going? How's it about, Jake? Yeah, very good. Um, so, at the moment, I think. Civil. Yep. Um, in relation to no fly zones, these guys aren't clued up. Think for themselves. Yeah, there is, there's no, there is but, no, but no fly zones. But apparently the CAA say that within 50 metres of the building, you can't fly. 
Not with it. I assume it's a mini you've got. It is a mini. Not the mini. mini. Fine. Um, I'll go in and tell him. Yeah. And have a we'll chat. No problem. Could you uh, just identify yeah, yourself? PC four zero two four Josh Baldwin. Yeah. Based at the um, drone unit, a good fella. Ah, there we go. Thank you very much. No problem. One thing I would say to you, sir, is that mm -hmm. you are currently trespassing on Home Office land. They would like you to leave, but if you go to the pavement, that would be public land. You can stand it is, you want. However, it's publicly accessible and it is a it is, publicly, publicly funded site. So. However, they have asked that as soon as you are currently on their land, you go to a public space. So if you're literally on that pavement there, you're more than welcome to stand there. And I'm, just, I'm just telling you, are you aware of Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972? So I'm just telling you what they told me. That this is their land, we don't want you on it, but you literally... If you move, it's not if technically you their land, is it? feet that way, you'll be on public it's technically, it's technically my land, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's technically my land, I pay for it, don't I? So. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so... Don't, don't start giving me directives now. You were doing, you were doing well until now. So... Got a police drone operator They have to start telling me stuff like that, don't they? So uh, we're going to pick this back up in a minute, guys. See you guys in a bit. Immigration officers. Just got the police officer down there. Someone trying to communicate with me, then? OK, so we're going to pick it back up in a sec, guys. Okay guys, they're coming back down now. Here we go. I think they're about to leave. Are they coming out? Afternoon now. Afternoon. <laughs> Just let you know I'm going to record, okay? Just a little... Thank you very much. So I've explained to them about drone laws, the fact you are allowed to fly a mini, it's 249 grams, okay. Uh, the only concern they had is if you're flying it close to the windows where the toilets are, mm -hmm. um, if you can just be mindful of their privacy. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't fly it, I didn't uh, fly it out there anyway. Um, they're aware now, okay. Um, it's all about education, okay, because I know a lot of people don't know about the drones and the, the laws as well. Um, is it just a mini you've got? Mini two. Have you got your freight ID on the drone? Is, do, am I required to show it? Uh, if you're flying a drone around, then I'm, I can ask for I'm it. not currently flying it though, am I? Okay, that's so, fine. Uh, yeah. I can ask, that's all I can do, isn't it? Yeah, no problem. Um, so I think the outset, the, the drone was a bit of concern because they've not seen that before, okay? So I've, I've explained to them about the, the laws. Um, if you're taking off and landing, as long as you're not doing it in their car park, okay, because it's, it's their property. I mean, again, that, that comes under the civil trespass okay, then, doesn't you, it? You, so, yeah. Under the CAA, you need to have permission, okay, to take off and land from sites. Okay, so out here in this bit of the road, fine. This car park, no. Yeah. So it's, it's even even with even with the drone though, it's, it's, if you're taking off and landing on the property, then that's still civil civil trespass. Okay, so. but you still need to ask that permission. Okay, it's a bit of common courtesy, isn't it? But it's not law though, okay. is it? So right. um, I'm going to leave you be. No problem. Have a nice day. And yourself. Okay. And enjoy the weather. Well, could I just uh, grab your colleague's number a minute? Two seven seven three. Two seven seven three. Thank you. There we go. There we are, he let me know he was recording and everything as well, That's, so he knows the body-worn video policy. Um, just going to wait for him to go now. So they should be going soon. Immigration officer. They don't like it, but they can't do anything about it. Let's get the police vehicles coming out. Out he comes. Take care. There we go. Mark, car's coming out now. 
looks all factory, is it? There we are. There they come. And they're off. <laughs> Simple as that. It took a while in there though, just over a go with the camera. Um, I mean, that's the trouble. They, the, a lot of them, uh, the cops were all right to be fair, apart from the one guy who's a bit, he got a bit funny with me. The drone operator, I, did, I didn't want to split hairs with him too much. He was, he knew what he, well, he knew what he was on about, but then he tried to bring up something that wasn't law relating to civil civil matters, which is not the not a police matter. I don't know, I feel why he, but overall he was, he was good. He was good. Um, which is a surprise considering what I last had at Wilfred Fuller, which is where he was, where he's based out of. And there, those guys are a bit... Yeah, they're a bit dodgy. Well, Clive Bush is anyway. So as you know, Clive Bush down at uh, Wilfred Fuller, that's where he's based out of. So yeah, guys, uh, that has been um, the Home Office Immigration Enforcement. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.